titties and boom. Officially six. No. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna find your body laying next to a cowbell. They're gonna, they're gonna find a cowbell stuffed up your ass. Oh, I see. Uh, I see Cobra did a. Uh, A video on the uh, F and Grow. Off the, I, I will have to watch that uh, when, when I'm after I give him the boot. Then he starts seriously drinking. Well, you know, you do what you got to do. There's a reason why you got you know a couple jugs of vodka in you. <sighs> yeah, I thought there was one until I was trying to figure out how to put the margarita mix, <laughs> and the door went shut. I'm like, what the fuck? Two, two 1.5 liter bottles of Pinnacle. I can't make a Bloody Mary though. I still don't have ice for that. I can go get ice. If you want fucking ice. I, I may, uh, I may walk over and grab something to put some cubes in and or maybe an ice cube tray and I can make my own. <sighs> fucking children, I swear. I can go over afterwards. The time you're gone, I can read all the comments and be done with this. <laughs> or talk about you while you're gone. Now, what was this one? Uh, actually, somehow he managed to get uh, uh, get shit that I that I haven't reviewed. Sweet Heat Peach, made with peach juice and guava nectar. Hmm. So, uh, today, or tonight's, tonight's the last night. Um, I'm going to work until about 1 o'clock tomorrow and head back to Duluth. And, uh, unless something else more pressing comes along, I will be, uh, I'll be heading back down here on uh, Monday morning. So you'll get uh, a couple a couple of reviews from the... Uh, well, it still doesn't show up. I thought maybe if I elevated it. Why would I think about elevating it? Okay. I'll, I'll, read, a, I'll read a comment while he's gone. Oh, he's already back. Uh, Chippo Gun Guy says, second day, seems like I'm the only one here. Again, looks are deceiving. There's probably 20 people already here. And, got one coming out of the way. Well, what are you going to do now that you have no ice? He's got fucking other trays in the house. Oh. Doesn't your, doesn't your, uh, does your refrigerator have an ice maker? No. Oh. Well, yes, but no. Well, that's like, I guess that'd be my answer. I have a, I have a refrigerator that's supposed to have an ice maker. Or should I say, it looks like it has an ice maker. It just has water. Water in the door. Okay. We never hook up the water line because we were we want it to break while we're on vacation one time. You know, you can get a special valve for that. Oh well, you know. Fucking late for that. If you if you actually cut your water line, it would sense um, too much water and it will it, they shut off. In theory. Let's try it. Oh, cheers. Okay, cheers. Oh. 
looks pretty good. Then again, I have not had anything from Cayman Jack that I haven't liked. This is true. By the way, this is the special edition. This is the third world country edition. Because if by now you haven't heard that Trump was uh, found guilty on all 34 counts of makeup. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I've already heard some speculation that if anybody comes out and vocalizes in favor or uh, uh, pro-Trump, that they're going to start going after people. More proof of third world country. Um, you know how many attorneys, and even some fairly liberal ones, that I saw that they interviewed were like, there's no crime here. 30, 34 fucking made up counts. And the very worst of it would be some kind of a, a, of a fine. Yeah. And even the people he supposedly defrauded have our testified in court that they would do business with him again today. Yeah. It's... They'd give him another loan today because he paid off his loan and met all the... So, here's... It's just his collateral yeah. was might have been, you know, inflated a little bit, but everyone inflates their collateral. That's... That's that's what several people, attorneys in New York said. He goes, if they go after Trump, they're going to have to go after, after almost all all, all attorneys. Uh -huh. Or all businessmen. But basically, the nutshell version is this. Josh is a bank. And I need money. And Josh says, I need to know that if something goes south, that you have something. And I go, okay. You see that 1979 Pinto? That's worth $100,000. And Josh goes, okay, and gives me the loan. Then I pay Josh back with interest. And mm -hmm. now here we are 10 years later going, he said his Pinto is worth more money than it was really worth. But Josh said that, oh, I did business with Eric and he paid me back with interest and he paid me back ahead of schedule and I would do business happily with him again in the future. Yeah, he met all the things of my loan. It's like, he, you know, it's... our agreement was that you pay me back this much and you did. Crazy. Well, let me put it this way. Anybody typing right now and like trying to like say more on one direction or the other, don't waste your fucking time because I don't care. We all know that this was, wait for it, all trumped up. They were going to do anything they Are can. Are you trying to say that these charges were trumped up? Yeah, I think I am. I mean, this is a typical example of arresting the guy that could possibly beat you, uh, just like in, uh, well, like a third world. I mean, uh, well, I guess since how the Biden administration is bought and paid for by China, we might also use the tactics of China. I mean, I'm I'm sorry, I can't even I can't even sit here and like get get nuclear at, you get nuclear like I normally would like if you come after the Second Amendment because how many uh, raise of hands how many people saw this was gonna happen no matter what. It's a fraudulent, bullshit, weaponizing an administration to go after your rival candidate. I mean, what's the best? Problem is, they kind of shot their load before the penis was in the butthole because now there's not enough time to, uh, when he appeals this, there's not enough time to get this in the court oh, between now and the election. But they're sentencing him July 11th. So, are they also going to sentence his uh, secret service that is assigned to him? Do they got to go serve time and be his, you know, inmates in prison with him? They're going to draw straw. The secret service has to draw straws to find out what four are going to prison. <laughs> like, like, how does this work? Like, or is he going to be on house arrest at Mar-a-Lago? Like, 
Oh no, not that. Oh my god. Not that dump. Oh, that place is only worth like a million. You could probably sell the the entrance. The first 50 but by 50 feet that you walk in is probably worth a million dollars. Comment number two, McLean, no comment. McLean, disappoint, disappointment. Cheap old gun guy. Oh, a real one. I thought it was a salty bent over again in the cold. Oh, that was on the blue. Blue moon. Hmm. Got the stack like four of them. I'm not reading that one. We need cowbell. There. Now you can see it. Mr. 27 says fifth. Then he says it's uh, Brew Bomi uh, live from someone's camper trailer. Yeah, yeah. Just feet away from the Mississippi River. As a yeah. matter of fact, if... You can actually see the Mississippi right there. If somebody doesn't have the brakes on, I could actually... Could wake up and I could wake up in Wade's backyard. <laughs> you, I'll be your huckleberry, man. Salty, uh, we the people uh, of the naked states of America. Watch your body. Watch your body. Watch your body. Multi gunman says the founding fathers uh, are naked for a reason. I don't know. I realize I'm speaking of the choir, but what what are the rest of you guys' thoughts? I mean, does does America really stand a chance? Because the kind of shit that we have seen in the last fuck, I don't know, eight to ten years. Well, it's really ramped up in the last basically, you know, twelve years. I mean, it's always been like this. It's just it became very, much more apparent. They had a harder time hiding it. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you go back over 100 years ago, this country was bought and sold out on Jekyll Island. This is where a lot of it started. Not everything, but a lot of it. When everyone, one of the bankers, checked into Jekyll Island under fake names and transported under fake names so no one would know they're right there writing the legislation to create the Federal Reserve. It was in turn passed in 1912, in December 23rd or so. While back then, it took you weeks to go back to your family for Christmas. They passed it in the dead of night. Knowing that almost everyone was gone to go visit their families for Christmas. Well, shady as fuck has been a, uh, a a family tradition for a lot of uh, a lot of people for a long time. Yep. I don't, I don't know what that, uh, every, everything that your pork chop was seasoned with, but I can reminisce every time I burp. Oh, yeah? You feel that? Here, I'll let you, uh, serve yourself. 
So you can't say that I overserved you. I thought I had some actual shot glasses somewhere. Maybe not out here. Whatever. It's a glass. Finally, he says, I thought it was a breezeway. Then eight, ten bags, 80 pounds each. Not 80 pounds of, eight, not 80 bags of concrete. Beams and not uh, walking on the concrete. Just a head for ceiling through me. It was 10 80 pound bags. And uh, no. it, it was simply, basically we, we made a cap to keep the moisture uh, and any rodents that could possibly dig down and come back up in yep. that location. Although before that location, there's, you know, well around back, there's about eight inches of fucking concrete. Going for quite a ways for the rear patio, and then up front you got the driveway, which I don't know how thick that is, but it, you know, they'd have to dig for quite a ways. Let's say, uh, being that it's your driveway, it's a bare minimum of four inches thick. Yep. Probably. Better, better if it was say six inches thick, but I'm not planning on parking the big truck on it, so. You ever brought that home? Just out on the street. When I do bring it home, I just park at the truck stop in town. Then either have her pick me up or rub ride my electric scooter. By how far is the truck stop? About four miles. I was gonna say it's it's gotta be a little bit. That's about four miles away. I mean, the electric scooter goes like 15 miles per hour, and it folds up and fits in the semi. So it means I can just literally fucking grab it, unfold it, hop on it, and fucking pin the throttle, and, you know, 15 minutes later, I'm home. And I don't have to bother anyone. <laughs> like, if she's still at work or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I'm not just sitting in the truck going... <laughs> Oh, she bought that for me for my birthday last year. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's a Segway one, but you know, there's some of those that go like 45 and 55 miles per hour. It's fucking ridiculous. But they weigh like a hundred and something pounds, and I'm not wanting to pick that up out of the fucking truck back and forth. Oops. That I, the one that I got weighs like 30 pounds, and I can just grab it and stick it in the truck. It's better than pedaling a fucking bicycle. I'm lazy. Oh, 15 and miles it, an hour is still pretty good. Well, and I I don't, it takes up like so much less space. Like I don't have the room for a fucking bicycle in the semi. Like, I am kind of need to live there. Oh, it's so much room. David J. fucking Brown says, two boys sitting in a trailer drinking cream ale, canoe paddle, canoe paddle, life vests, and a banjo. Matthew Brewer. Uh, labeling reminds me a bit of the brewery I used to work at, Elder Pine, but our labels were much cooler. Unfortunately, it's only locally available in Maryland. It's a great beer. Started there when I turned 21. Hell of a way to get into brew. Heck yeah. Could have uh, could have been a contender. Could have been like a brewmaster or something. Maybe that's what I should do. I should go see if any of the breweries are... Well, down this way we have several of them. Including Monaco is literally 15 minutes away from where I work. Hey, maybe I could go work for Ursa, Ursa Minor Brewer, Brewery, and, uh... Yeah, you love their stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm so passionate about their quality and their... The fact that I haven't had anything from there that I'd actually buy again. And even, and even one of the best I've had yet was the cream ale that I had last night, and I... And part of that might have been that it was 
to me, I've always had this theory that anything on tap, on draft, tastes better than canned or bottled. It's true, but the asterisk next to it is it was the best thing from Ursa Minor that I've had. Is but, that kind of like saying you won in the Special Olympics? Even if you won, you're still retarded? Kind of, because <laughs> no matter what, I still wouldn't... I wouldn't buy it. I would simply say, yeah, that's the only thing I've had from Ursa Minor Brewery that I actually didn't want to just throw away. I mean, I've had stuff from them that just... I mean, it's, it, I, mean I can't... I mean, who are these people that go there to the brewery and hang out? Because they, I don't, I think they have an indoor area. They have an outdoor area. I mean, it's nice too. It's a, like a nice yeah. sitting area with an outside fireplace. Oh, there's something wrong. I did something to my neck today. It's a, I feel like I'm wearing a brace. Hey. Oh, I mean, that's just like, you know, where I work, you know, there's probably five different breweries within 15 minutes from there that a lot of them have you know that same kind of stuff going on Jay from Elite Ammunition on the right video. Tanks only need three man crew. M1s and D1 and the D2 went with three man crews with the uh, TC acting as a gunner. I didn't what? understand a fucking thing that he just said there in secret tank speak. What about <laughs> Sherman's? Or. Well, I guess, yeah, the M. Abrams? Abrams, yeah. I know that, like, depending on the tank, different tanks have different numbers of crews members. Like, some tanks have three, some have four, some have up to, like, five or six. But I'm, I'm sure there's, like... Depends on the at tank. A, at a certain point in time, it's like, you know, you figure you have to have at least, uh, effectively have at least two people. One to move the damn thing and one to fire it. Yep. Jay, also on the right video. Also, the personal mic volume and intro music volume, there is there is a bit of a jump. Well, yeah, the volume of us speaking is quieter than the intro volume. That's well. Now, well, if we're not using now, if I did bring them, if we fired up the lapel mics, then I found when I was and I I kept uh, consciously trying to talk like this when I was doing the one in Matt's garage because I figured if I talk like I'm trying to talk to the camera way over there uh, and I'm not even sure if the microphone is on the front or on the back on the back for the top or the bottom the left or the right yeah but uh, things things to uh, grab on the uh, the next flight down um, well we have an HDMI cable now of course, that means we'll have to, like, figure out, put the camera over here somewhere and fucking have us standing over there or put the fucking TV over here. I don't know how you would read it then, but then, but that TV will fit on this table, too. Or we fucking put the TV over there. And we just fucking or, stand or, up. or technically, right now, I could I could be superimposing a girl, a, 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 a the slideshow right here. Well, take that back. I could. What I would have to do is I'd have to have a separate camera, the whole time that we're doing the show, aimed at. Because I don't know how I can bring the slideshow into my editing software unless it was actually re physically recorded with a camera aimed at the monitor. Then I can take that video and add it as a second track in here. You could just make a video and 
movie maker or whatever use of just pictures that are up for every five fucking seconds or however long. Then you won't lose any uh, quality. Well, I guess technically I can do that too. It'd be the same as the uh, items in a battle box. Yeah. I could actually do a picture in picture and I'd have to bring... Jesus Christ, do you know how many pictures I'd have to bring in? Uh, yeah. I mean, I wonder if you could drag and drop, like, just say, you know, 100 or 200 or 300 pictures and then select all in a duration 10 seconds or whatever. I, I know I can do that for the software that you... I could set that for one girl every second. Yeah. Or I can set it for one girl every 10 minutes. Yeah. So no, it's just, you know, whatever works. Or we could, you and know, it, just have it sitting there and then fucking put a chair there and fucking sit right there and set the camera over here. Well, I guess if you if had a couple of folding chairs, it could, it could easily... Actually, one of us could be sitting here. What... I could be sitting on the couch. You could be sitting right there in a chair. Put the camera right there and the monitor in between us. Yeah. Because, I mean, I have... And the, then this on um, here so that I... You know, still... Yep. You know, first of all, I mean, I guess I, I can I can make that bigger as far as being able to read it better. Actually, I, I, I think it actually shrunk in size because at one point in time... You couldn't see any of this, the picture, the... Uh -huh. It's just way too complicated. Yes, it is. Scroll up. Nothing? No. Weird. It's probably a different browser than you normally use. Because you can go... Uh, if you click, like, right there and then... Maybe scroll up. Nope. No. Whatever. It don't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. See, I can see. Yeah, that works too. Ooh. Trivia. Oh, I, th I see. It just changed the whole window layout. I was going to say, uh, Depending on what browser you use, you end up with a uh, a bar at the bottom, toggle left and right. Mm -hmm. It just got rid of everything that was to the. It right. made an executive decision without me. That you do not need what's on the left. Yeah, whatever's there, you don't get it anymore, bitch. Wade says, uh, "I'm taking the family on vacation uh, next week, so I won't be here. Y'all behave and don't do anything I wouldn't do." Which means carry on doing what you normally do. Wait. That bad? No, I, <laughs> I, I think it's pretty good. Hmm. I don't really know a whole lot about Scotch. I don't think that one's ever been in one of your flasks. No, I've never heard of that. Jura. Seems like a character from Dune or Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Better watch out. Jura gets here. He's going to sodomize you. Try me with a good time. Seven, well, whatever, seven hours and 27 minutes ago. Sharky says, cheers all. Shot some of Jolson's stuff. All of it was cool. Thanks again. Here we go. See, you gotta have the... That's more important as far as I'm concerned. Yep. You gotta have the weapon. Well, we could get the paracord and tie it onto some fucking handles up there and fucking do the hanging. I mean, you could just put a hook in the... Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's all the DVDs if you wanted to watch. That TV's got a built-in DVD player. 
Uh, I've actually been trying to use it as an opportunity to catch up on any YouTube stuff, YouTube videos. Like uh, this morning, I I got up and I threw the coffee on, and you enjoy your choice of coffee. <laughs> nah, not so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of the other ones tomorrow. Well, you know, the one I had today might not be all that bad if it, you know, if I had my normal amount of, uh... Oh, by the way, there's sugar, stevia, all that in the store too. Pick your poison. Do you like stevia or pure cane sugar? Normally just, well, I don't know, because just regular creamer is just creamer. Where one I have the uh, French vanilla that mm -hmm. I normally that already has I think the the sweets built into it. Mm -hmm. Well, we have heavy whipping cream in the house too. I was gonna say that's the closest thing we got to creamer right now. We usually have French vanilla, but we just don't at the moment. We've been trying to get away from that stuff because finding a healthy version of it seems to be like fucking not possible. Well, I, I have stuck with French vanilla. I also like hazelnut. Christine, on the other hand, switched to the almond creamer. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I don't particularly... I'll put it this way. When, when I go like this and go, Oh, fuck. Why did I even put this back? It's empty. And it's the last one. The only thing left in the fridge is... 27 containers of Christine's almond and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna have it black So no, I'm, I'll probably try the IHOP tomorrow the chocolate chocolate chip. Yeah The Biden special no that 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 might not be bad Can't it'd be, it'd be kind of like dunking the chocolate chip cookie No, I just I didn't know what the fuck you liked so well I got some IHOP chocolate chocolate chip and some French roast and then I already had the buried in blue or blue and buried death wish fucking as it say world's strongest coffee uh huh yeah I, I can I can vouch for that <laughs> I, I smelt it and started getting the shakes didn't even have to drink it. Well, why, why are your groups so good, Gary? <laughs> Sharky says, Echo 4. E4 is, uh... Fuck. It's a thing. Oh, hey, it should be a hit. Yep. Seen so E3. I asked Christine about that. I said, did I not tell you that Din, at a bare minimum, calls E3 every fucking time? She goes, well, I figured I'd just give him one. You are not naval material. Just give up a ship. Yeah. Fuck it. That, that ship's full of them uh, them queer guys. Oh, that's In the gavy, you can suck a lot of cock. In the gavy. <laughs> Jim, you can reach Jolson at Jolson at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. Jim already has my phone number. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Ding dong. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a bag of packing peanuts. He loves packing peanuts, I've noticed. Just absolutely loves them. Mm-hmm. I got rid of... Uh, as much as I love getting kicked in the nuts. I got rid of an entire bag of them in my laundry sink. But they're foam. These ones weren't. These ones were the, the, the biodegradable ones. Oh. Like, you put it in your mouth and it just starts to sound like those uh, crackling... Pop rocks? Crackling pop rocks. <laughs> yeah, I just... Uh, I put them in the sink... Got the water as hot as it would go, and I just misted it over the top of them, and it was like. Then, the, then my sink looked like. Uh, well, I 
if we won't talk about it. Okay. Boys locker room? Yeah, boys locker room. Check this SH. Sleep well and A plus plus for the outro, babes. See I can't uh, the there is there actually is some stuff from Zeus on the laptop. Unfortunately, it's only the newest shit that he made, which I forgot all about. So you probably saw one of those in the opener that he uh, that I had from down at uh, Jeremy's. I mean, good lord, the review a couple of reviews back there may or may not have been so much alcohol involved i i couldn't even find the brew <laughs> editing editing well i know where the girls are but i'm like what the fuck did i i know i have stuff on here because every now and then i've either had a late brew review because christine's doing was doing her show mm -hmm. oh and uh i have even at home i have edited some stuff here and uh for the life of me, I could I could not find the folder. It's an identical copy to the folder that's on the home system, but I, uh, in order to save space, I put it on the backup drive inside of a directory, inside of a directory, and I'm like, that was just stupid. Then, how much more was it to get Triple X cream ale. We only we he could only afford the two X cream ale. I mean, the rest of the budget had been allocated towards other things. I mean, diversity. It, it, it happens. You got diversity higher. <laughs> you got choices in there. Probably enough still for next week, without even adding to it. I only got one, two, three, four, five, six days on that bottom shelf alone. Seven up there, eight there, nine there, ten, eleven, twelve. We'd we'd have to do the uh, that one from Filthy, probably as a fill in. No, not Filthy. No, I was talking about the the margarita. Oh, that. Oh yeah, that could be a. Because I have that at home. Yep. Me and Christine are supposed to do it for a Patreon video. I but, saw that and it's from Filthy, so I was like, oh, well, here you go. Here's kind of a, a filler thing. Yes, I have not tried it. No. If Christine would stop remembering that it's down there, I was just going to have it as like a pregame. Or take that jug with and then you both just do Yeah, know. but that's the problem. This is this is like the last time I made a drink. Let's it, it wasn't even a shot. It was literally I made a drink and she went You can finish it. Oh my god. The the where did the hell razor that I married go? Well I can't have any alcohol because it uh it it what? I mean, I, I look forward to all the side effects of mixing my medication with alcohol. Like, I'm a, I, I submitted a list to him of all the possible things as passive as they seem. But when you mix them with alcohol, they turn into something special. <laughs> Jeremy said, it doesn't matter if the audio doesn't work with the video. Just letting you know. No, I could tell what you meant, prick. Hey, did this sink? Multi-gun man, I like those old-fashioned uh, stubby bottles. Starry Eye does. Does all, all their beer come in that bottle? Stop. That I know of, yeah. So what exactly is over if we went to the brewery? Do they actually have an area you sit down and you can... Drink, yeah. <laughs> sit over there, drink. They have, you know, food and drinks and stuff. They are what? A mile and a half from here? Maybe a mile? 
Where's that scooter of yours? In the semi. Oh, well, there's four wheelers right there and there. You want the 90cc look? One the, the little kids ride? Well, if I'm, if I'm not driving my car over there, the legal effects are the same, with the exception that it's your four wheeler getting impounded instead of my car. Pretty sure my four wheeler is worth more than your car. Probably. <laughs> Besides that, I have. Well, the red one. I have made it a thing that. The, first of all, the rule of thumb is absolute zero driving, period, with a with my gun. Yep. And then the most that the most that I will drive is if we went out to dinner and I had a beer that was gone before the food, because a lot of times I'll have like a beer and then I switch to like uh, raspberry iced tea through the rest of the meal. Yep. So from the time I've had that beer. So when I'm sitting in the car is at a bare minimum of one hour, usually yeah. more. Then I will drive instead of Christine driving. But the it's it's zero for the gun. If I have anything, I hand that to Christine. But most of the time she's like, if you want to have another drink, I'll drive home. And then she also gets the gun, which is why I wanted her to have a conceal and carry permit. Yeah. She has actually carried because she wanted to carry one time since she had her permit. Mm -hmm. Now, I've handed her a gun just about every single time we go out with uh, Dave and Bunky. Yep. Uh, because, well, first of all, Dave's like, yeah, he wants a beer. What size do you want? Just get him the biggest one. And then I drink that, and she comes over, are you interested in another beer? And I'm like, eh. And he's like, yeah. Okay, Christine, here's the key fob. Well, man, I mean, that's just it. We have a PD right there. Like, if we went there on one of these nights. I mean, granted, next week might be a little less likely because... She doesn't really seem to be that much of a fan of drinking while out. Or is she just being nice because we're both drinking? Well, we have to have a DD. She'll go out with her friends and drink and then I'll DD her. Or, you know... See, that's what I do. If Christine goes next Saturday, uh, we all want to. We're all gonna go out, and I'm just like, uh, have oh, fun. Okay, let me know when you're ready to come home. Yeah, usually I will drive them there. Yep. Drop them off, and then they call when they want me to uh, pick up. And like the last time, yep. Wendy and Mary drove to our house, and then I went to pick them all up, and then Wendy and Mary both hung out for uh, an hour or so. And I, I keep telling everyone, it's like, we have two bedrooms and a couch. If, like, like I keep trying to tell, I, well, my sister's the only one. My, if any of the rest of the girls from the girls' night are hearing me say this, it's like, Jesus God, if you want to get out, come on over. Uh -huh. uh, and then you can stay. You know, I got we've got two bedrooms and a couch, so technically we could have three people stay over. And to this moment in time, the only Wendy, Wendy got pretty ripped. I know David gonna have a hard time believing that I know I'm saying this. Wendy yeah. got Wendy got pretty ripped the last time, and then the time before that, and and then the time before that. Wendy get ripped? Yeah, I know. No. And uh, she uh. Wendy. She stayed. She probably stayed to like, I think she stayed to. Well, I went to bed, and I'm not. I think Christine actually went to bed, and she, she, she like hung out downstairs for a while until she felt good to go home. But well, just like here alone, not including the camper, you got this downstairs bedroom. You got Teresa's office, which has a day bed with a trundle that slides out, so it's like you could basically sleep four people in the house. And you have the executive, you know, suites out here where you can set your air conditioning and your heater to whatever you want, which has the queen bed and then the futon couch that folds into a full size bed. You got the dinette that folds into a bed or air mattresses on the floor. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, I was just trying to decide if I, uh... That's without going to the farm. If I actually have to bring everything home with me, but 
there actually isn't all that much in here. I got my clothes, yeah. and I've worn and made dirty, well, the work stuff for sure. I pro Just for the fun of it, I should have actually ordered custom gray shirts because I, I brought the, I think I brought six, six of my gray shirts, but you know, like in your, to your perspective, I'm wearing the same shirt every single day, but I don't, well, that's just like me when you see me in my work shirts, it's like, it looks like the same fucking shirt every day, but it's, I am literally have like fucking five high vis fucking company shirts that have the company name on the back. I, I and think, they constantly give us new ones, so it's like unless you've worn it out. For me, I think I think what I think what happens in my uh, my brew review shirts, which Chris, every time I even think about ordering it, Christine's like, "Why are you ordering a fucking T-shirt?" Well, for starters, um, it's only been recently uh, that I've when people ask me what shirt size I have. I prefer the three X because it hides. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been. This is the fr this is the first, and probably the longest that I've gone with a outside the waistband holster. Mm -hmm. I don't find the inside the waistband holster uncomfortable, but one thing I have noticed, and that's where I kind of fucked up. On that uh, company asked me to review uh, their tactical belts. Yep. And a tactical and, belt. Um, it might have been. Um, I have one of their uh, alien. Might have been an alien wear. Yeah, no, they made belts. No, the ones that I have. Maybe it's someone else. I've had this belt now for. Uh, four years now, and originally it was called like an Impossa belt. Now they've renamed themselves to some other company, but it's basically plastic with a metal fucking inner thing. Because before that, I would go through a fucking belt every two, three months. But now I've had this one for four fucking years. See? Which, I mean, it looks like a black leather belt, but it's literally metal with like plastic over it. I, in all honesty... I can't stand the any belt that isn't a traditional leather belt. And I'll tell you why. Because I switch up the gun and the way I even carry the gun constantly. Listen, you fake news. You fake news. I mean, like right now, I the only thing I have with me is, is the uh, VP9 Tactical. And... I have an inside, I, well, actually, I think I have six inside the waistband holsters for that pistol because it kept being a fail with Pete because the optics would ride right on the belt. It was like, how long is it going to be before there's a mark in the glass from rubbing that? I mean, water, water will, water will erode a rock. So if my gun on an inside the waistband always stops with the face of the Hollison right on the top of the leather. And Pete's going, what is the... He goes, I don't understand this. He goes, this is the first time I've ever had the problems that you're having. And I go, I know I'm not trying to be a dick. I mean, he goes, no, no, I appreciate this. He goes, he, I'm sending him pictures, how it looks when it's on my side. And he tried he tried sending me another hol a holster where he made it so it would sink in farther. But the problem is is the optics would still hit my belt and I almost had to have my pants practically off to get the, the gun to snap into the last deep position. And I couldn't do it once you were wearing. So if you put it on while you're getting dressed, then you're good. But if you unholster the gun and then reholster the gun during the day, the only way to do it would be to actually loosen the belt well, completely up. Well, like for up. me, I never unholster and reholster during the day, so it wouldn't be an issue. Well, in a typical day. Like, I put my pants on, and before I, you know, buckle my belt, put my gun in the holster, like, on at once, inside the waistband, and then put my belt on, zip my pants up, and fucking away we go. Pete, on the very final holster he made for me, it works a lot better. 
Not to mention, he also did the one thing that I wanted with all of the holsters that he didn't do, is full coverage of the thread, threaded end. Yep. He says normally, unless someone specifies it, he never makes a holster that covers the thread. No, protector. most of them are open. Yeah, and and it just stick that little bit sticks through. And I go, I, I go, I don't care really if the thread, if what's going to happen is the thread protector is going to get scuffed up or mm -hmm. worn off. Oh, wow. then you, and then you go and put a new one on there. Yeah. But I've, I've already come to the, it, you know, when I, when I switched from massively, cause I still carry the other VP nine because I just love that gun. But when I switched over to carrying this one full time, you know, it was kind of hurt when I first started seeing wear and tear on it. But after a really short amount of time, you kind of come to the conclusion that some of the, some of the, some of the, what the, what caliber? Yep. Um, it, it's almost, it's, to, it, to me, it, it has really turned into a badge of honor. When you see a gun that has wear from being carried. Mm -hmm. So, but no, I've, I've been, I've been carrying, see one of the main reasons that I would carry exclusively on an inside the waistband holster is if your goal is you don't want anybody to see that you have it, you know, like maybe, and again, I always forget J dog will probably answer this question. I always forget, is it Minnesota or is it Wisconsin? One of them doesn't care if you're in a bar slash Minnesota. Grill. Minnesota doesn't care or they do? Does not care. Because there is no, from a legal aspect, in the state of Minnesota, there are no bars. You have to be a restaurant first and foremost, so you have to serve some sort of food first and foremost and be a restaurant and then you apply after that for a liquor license so even though yes there's places that would be you know viewed as bars in the state from a legal aspect they are a restaurant first and e foremost even if the only thing they do is heat up a pizza they're for a restaurant first yep which ain't no different than these breweries that's why you think they serve food in the state of minnesota at a brewery because of the legal rules. Even though, yeah, the one down this fucking road, the only thing they offer for food is pizza. And a fucking pizza oven. Pre-made fucking whatever frozen pizza. I wonder if that still qualifies for Castle Danger. Because they make no food on site. But you can get chips, salsa, uh, pretzels. I'm sure it's some sort of food that meets qualifications. That's probably why they have a bunch of things and not just this one bag of chips. Yes. I guarantee you that so, is. So then it is Wisconsin. Technically in Wisconsin, if even if it's a restaurant that serves alcohol, you're not supposed to be in there with a firearm. I believe that's correct. Now, having said that, just like the post office, and in, in one case, I, I have been in the airport, I just never went past TSA. Yep. It's, I, it's not gay if it's TSA. See, here's the thing. You know, when you see some... When you see... <laughs> 40 bucks. When, when you see a place that, you know, like, for instance, and I don't know if he's actually seen these videos would, and would give him something to wrap me out, especially now that I've actually paid to be an owner into the food co-op. Um... There's a sign that says that you're not supposed to be in there with a firearm. Well, what the fuck? For, I mean, there's nobody, there's nobody that's gonna pay attention to that fucking sign or that rule in general. That that if they're gonna go in there with a gun to do bad things, you guess what? Your fucking sign changes nothing. Now, on the other hand, if something bad goes down, do you want me in your establishment? It's no different than a mall or any other building that goes, oh, well, no guns allowed. It's like, yeah, until some psychopath comes in here to do bad things. It's like whether they come in here with a gun, 
a baseball bat, a knife, or they come in here where they fucking start driving a car down the fucking, you know, exactly. aisles. Like, bad See, people are going to do bad things, and the only way you minimize the amount of damage they're going to do is by taking them the fuck out when they go to do bad things. See, anybody... You neutralize the threat. Any business that has your sign that you see me in there and go, oh, I wonder if Eric has a gun. Eric has two guns when he's walking around inside of his own house. So, yeah, I always have a fucking gun. As it turns out, every now and then, even when I go to my dermatology appointment. Um, so, long story short, would you rather I left my gun in the car, but if that day comes that something bad happens in your establishment, be a crazy person with broken glass, a knife, or forbid, a firearm, would you rather know that I'm in there and I'm never going to do harm to anybody unless it's a bad person? Well, and who knows what they're going to have for a weapon because bad people... I've been doing oh, bad things since the dawn of time. Right. And you've been in mine, the Super One, just down the street from my house. They had a guy walk in there, pull out a knife, walk behind somebody in the soup aisle, and, and stab him. Yep. And it was just a psychopath. The person that got stabbed, they didn't even know. They didn't even know each other. So, you know, and if I was standing in the soup aisle... I may not have been able to stop the first stab, but I would have yelled and been ready to go. And if you started a move, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to hesitate. And I will never hesitate to defend myself or anybody. I don't care if it's a loved one, if it's an innocent person, and I can well, stop it from it, happening. You know, technically, it's supposed to be your duty to defend other people, too. Like any time a life is in danger. One of the responsibilities that I was told whenever I took my class that it's your responsibility to defend anyone whose life is in danger. Now, some states, that's a law. And some states, it's a, I don't know if the word would be responsibility. Or morally but, correct. Yeah. Yeah, see... Like in some scenarios, there's been people that were being interviewed, and it turned out that a murder happened, and they were with a they were there with a gun, and they never pulled out their gun. They they probably would have been able to stop it, but they didn't. But you can't be prosecuted for that. Yep. You can you cannot be forced to basically take a life. Yep. But I think in some areas, you. Maybe that being forced is a strong word, but I think you, uh, I think you are uh, expected to maybe you have a try duty to help to... out. A, a duty to help an innocent person. Um, yep, maybe some sort of good Samaritan law or something. Bad. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Howdy, Captain. I hope your trip is going good. Looks like you're uh, staying in the uh, Brewery View camper. Yeah. I mean, it's your own private suite, shower, toilet, fridge. I mean, I'd have, I'd have to say all, all in, this is a much bigger square footage than the, the typical hotel room. Yeah, I mean. I mean, a typical hotel room doesn't have a, a dinette. No. Usually doesn't have a stove, an oven. Refrigerator, and freezer, room. microwave, a hood fans. Well, kitchen sink and bathroom sink. I mean, you could stay in the house too, but uh, you're totally more than welcome to. Like, uh, yeah, I don't like you that much. Yeah, well, you know, fuck you too. Bitch, call the cops. Kill you and them loud ass motherfucking barking dogs. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain again. Yeah, I imagine that. Mike says cheers and cheers back, Mike. And Mike has the last comment. So, One hour ago. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. So he must have commented right before we started recording. So this comment would have been two hours ago now. That brings us to the point. See, now, kid, now this always falls for me. It's not on, it doesn't, when I say that I think this is a, this is a nine and a half, 
I think it's a nine and a half on this non-brew scale. On the non-beer scale. Um, on the non-e scale. Yeah. Like last night's, that was a beer. It fell into the beer. These these Cayman Jacks, I find them to be awesome. And I would happily buy that again. Yep. But I'm also I also really like the mango. I love how um, really authentic and and like just seems like fresh. A lot of uh, real peaches had to have died in the making. Well, it said it's made with peach juice and all gals. And what was the care? percentage on these? Uh, five point eight. Oh, okay. so they're not super. Yeah, super. they're not. They're not like nine or. No, it's not like that it's not stuff like, we had the other night. It's not like you're two away from an unforgettable evening. Well, you know. Or a very forgettable evening. Or a... Okay, in the club, 38 minutes ago, Mr. 27 said... Did you give it a score? Um, I'm going nine and a half on the non... I was going to go with like eight... See, I was going to go with 10, but I knew you would underscore it, so I didn't want to seem like a whack job. I just... I, I, I mean, it's good. Actually, I'll after drink. you told me the alcohol percentage... Now, if you said... If that turned out that it was a 9, and it wasn't boozy, didn't have alcohol warming, I would have switched from a 9.5 to a 10. But, that's, but I mean, it's Cayman Jack, Margarita, Sweet Heat, Peach... I don't know where the fuck the heat was, but... And whatever you would get from a shot of tequila is their idea of heat. Then again, you know, it's kind of like buying a salsa, commercial salsa. When it says hot, it's like, okay. We switched from hot to the word not. And then don't become hot. Okay. A Mr. quant? Mr. 27 says, uh, clubbers, go. Yes, it's me, Mr. 27. Then Cobra says, hello, did I make the club? Boom, yes. And then he said, how about that Trump verdict? Um, I think I'd have to go exactly like a lot of people that I've been hearing say, there is nothing to see here. There is no precedence for this to happen. It makes this look like a third world co or a country. But guess what? What do you like a banana with your republic? I, I feel that uh, what happened today was exactly what a lot of people probably guessed. Because we're going to get Trump no matter what. And that's exactly what happened. And uh, let's see if the light's green. Because someone's itching to press the button. That's it. Lights green, traps clean, and uh, the next review will be from the uh, man cave at home. And there's either going to be one or two of those, and then boom, back here. Cheers. Thanks, Jolson. This was good. I'll get out of here. <laughs>